Good morning, sweet friends. Happy Wednesday and happy budget meals under $5. This is an open collab that is hosted by my wonderful friend, Miss Brenda, over at Maniac Grammy's Homestead. And um, anyone's welcome to join. You just basically upload a video on any Wednesday, um, any time, day or evening, night, and just upload a video that is showing a meal, uh, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or even a dessert, um, that is $5 or under. And actually the uh, meal that I'm gonna be making today is a dessert. Um, it's super simple, easy, and delicious, especially if you love bananas. So I had picked these sugar co cookies up, the Mrs. Fields sugar cookies up at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Um, I also picked up this milk. Um, we always use 2% uh, at Dollar Tree for $1.25, um, which I already had back in my pantry. Um, but if you see these, I highly recommend. They are delicious. They, um, they, the shelf life, if you do not open them, is quite long. Um, and then if you do open it, <clears throat> you know, it's not very big, so you usually use it up pretty quickly. Um, I'm using bananas, which I need to get my bananas used up. So uh, this is perfect timing for this. And, um, of course, bananas are well under a dollar. Um, and then some Jello banana cream pudding. Um, and I am gonna use a little bit of uh, Cool Whip, the spray Cool Whip, which I already had in the in the refrigerator. And then you'll just need a uh, muffin tin, which I already sprayed. Um, like I said, this is super simple, easy, and delicious. I have my oven on. It is preparing to get to 350 degrees. Um, basically, you are just putting these sugar cookies down in your muffin pan. You're gonna bake them for about 18 minutes, however long the package says. Let me see, what does it say? Um, let's see. Actually, it says 325, so let me change that. Hold on, guys. Okay, so 325, and it says 10 to 12 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. So um, I've already got that laid out and waiting for my oven to get warm. And then I will stick these in. When they come out, all you're gonna do is just kind of mush them down to make them into cups. Um, so I'll show you that when, when that is finished. Um, and while this is in the oven <clears throat> preparing, then I'll get the pudding ready. And I'll show you the next steps. So stay with me. Okay, I am gonna start the pudding while this is getting done. Just gonna put in three cups of milk. This is a larger package. I think I was thinking that I'm gonna um, <clears throat> use, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I was thinking that I was gonna make more of this, um, but that's okay. But pudding is super quick and easy to make. Takes no time at all. Um, so can, you can absolutely get this done while these are in the oven. Okay, so I popped the um, sugar cookies in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up this pudding and get it going. And be sure to go over and check out everyone else in this open collab. 
feel like we're all just learning so much from each other. Like I said, whether it be breakfast meals, dinner, lunch, um, I just feel like we're really learning from each other. And of course, I always love a good dessert one. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna let that sit up. Um, and I'm gonna let that sit up while that is in the oven. And I wanted to show you guys, last night, my daughter, she's been asking for, um, she was asking for peanut butter pie. And so last night I made her a peanut butter pie. As you can see, she had a little piece last night. Doesn't that look delicious? Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, this recipe makes so much that it actually made two. So I'm sure I'm going to share one because we we are not if our friends were still here they might help us eat it but um they are not and the four of us are certainly not gonna eat two um peanut butter pies um because we do still have my son's birthday cake um which i think i've told y'all it is just much too too sweet for me and actually i wasn't even uh, wanting a this peanut butter pie, so I told my daughter, "So you're on your own." <laughs> but I'm sure my husband will have a piece too. Actually, I need to be his birthday is next week, so I need to be making his. Um, he wants uh, the um, everything or the kitchen. He wants the kitchen sink cookies for his birthday. That's what he requested because I think I've told y'all I always ask what they want for um, their birthday, what kind of food do they want for their birthday dinner, and what kind of birthday dessert do they want. Um, and so my husband asked for kitchen sink cookies. So get those made for him. Um, and then we're just gonna have all kinds of desserts in the house. <laughs> So it's going to be a smorgasbord of desserts in this house. So we definitely will be sharing. But I'm going to go ahead and get all this packaging and the dirty dishes cleaned up. Get this peanut butter pie back in the fridge. Um, this, is, this is sitting up uh, nice and cold while the sugar cookies are getting done. And then I'll be back to finish up the video. So stay with me. Okay, friends, so I have pulled the sugar cookies out of the oven. I'm going to let them cool really well, and then I'll start assembling. But I did also want to tell you that um, if you don't have sugar cookies or you can't find sugar cookies for this recipe, you certainly use what you have on hand. If you have chocolate chips, um, chocolate chip cookies, you could absolutely use that in this recipe too. That would be delicious. Um, and you could use non-fat or regular milk. It's completely up to you. Um, so yeah, stay with me. Okay friends, so I have had time to jump in the shower and get dressed and get back out and I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these and then I'm gonna do a little taste test for you guys. So um, they are ready, and as you can see from putting them in a muffin pan, it actually helps to give them that cup shape. Or if you don't have a muffin pan and you put it on a regular cookie sheet, you can also, um, you know, take a little, little tiny cup or something like that at one of their measuring, measuring cups and insert the um, little holes to make like a cup. Um, I've cut up a few bananas. I'm just going to simply... Put the banana just like that super simple and easy um and then now the bananas are all in let me grab a napkin okay and then i'm going to take that delicious banana pudding that i made that i'll definitely be able to use for something else and just scoop it right on top of that banana 
so that when you bite into that, you're not only going to be eating that banana pudding, but you're going to be tasting that yummy banana surprise down there at the bottom. Let me adjust you there so you can see a little better. And then I'm just going to do that. Of course, my fingers are clean. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't wash them anyways while cooking, baking, etc. So that's what that's going to look like. Of course, I'm doing this quick and um, I'm not doing this for like a party or anything. So I'm not getting too fancy. Um, hold on one second. Ruby wants outside. Okay, I'm back. I love it that she'll just go to that door and ring that bell. I love it that she's potty trained now, too. <laughs> well, not potty trained, but y'all know what I mean in the fur baby world <laughs> of potty trained. She knows to go outside and not to do it inside. So that's what that is looking like. Okay. Okay, friends, so... Super simple, super easy, super, I'm sure, going to be delicious. This is the first time I've ever made this, but I just know it's gonna be delicious. So, just picked one up. I got my Ready Whip. It's, it's, um, it's, um, Food Line brand. Look at that. Yum, yum. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Mmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious, delicious. If you guys make this, please let me know. Or if you've ever made this, comment down below and let me know. Um, let me know if you made it like this or a different variation like with chocolate chip cookie dough. Either way, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up, share it if you will. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and you won't miss any of my uploads. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. It is Wednesday. We were almost to the weekend. So hang in there, guys. And until next time, bye, y'all.